Hi students, let's look at this concept here, which is what we call the principal values. Now, what are principal values? Principal values are values which the domain uh, will, will, will make the uh, function exist. Um, the function of cosine, sine, and tangent. But you have not learned about the function yet in your syllabus. But what you need to know is that uh, it's actually a value which is uh, set by us. Okay, So for cosine theta, is 0 degrees to 180 degrees and for sine theta is negative 90 degrees to 90 and tangent is ni negative 90 to 90 as well but the difference between sine and tangent is that sine is inclusive of negative 90 and 90 whereas for tangent is not inclusive because of the asymptotes right um now then you may wonder how come do we uh how how do we arrive at 0 and 180 so i'll just give give you a brief explanation uh, the explanation is because of ESTC. So we want to, when we decide of our uh, principal value for x here, we just want um, we we want a positive and a negative um, portion for that trigger ratio. So for example, in this case here, uh, if I want to have cosine to be both negative and positive, because then it will be all encompassing for the trigger ratio that we want it to be from. Uh, positive uh, negative one to one uh, we we know that cosine theta is positive here and uh, it doesn't make sense to choose cosine this quadrant here because both are positive so we do not want this this quadrant then what we want is actually uh, this region where uh, cosine uh, is negative okay so that's that's the reason why we pick from 0 to 180 now do you need to understand this no you don't need to you just need to know that Actually, the principal values are set for cosine ratio. The, the principal values is uh, principal values are, are in this range zero to hundred eighty degrees. Okay, your calculator will give you a uh, when you inverse um, trigo cosine, it, it will be expressed in the principal value. So you don't have to worry about it. All right. So let's look at sine. Then sine makes sense as well because if this is ASTC, you know that. Sine is positive here, so sine is positive here, and sine is positive here as well. So it doesn't make sense for us to choose this portion because we want both sine to be both positive and negative. So in this case here, what we get is actually these two proportion here. This is actually 90 degrees and this is minus 90 degrees. It's inclusive of this um is inclusive of 90 and minus 90 because uh sine doesn't have asymptotes, okay. Uh, then same thing with uh, with uh, with tangent, but the problem with tangent is you can't you can't tangent ninety degrees or negative ninety. You can't have the um what do you call it the um the the find the gradient of the vertical line because it is undefined. So in other words, we cannot equal to the we cannot equate to um the ninety degrees here. Okay, so just take note of that. Um. When we when we're drawing the graph, you you will understand why, okay? Um, so that's the reason why we pick this range here to be the principal principal values of the corresponding trigger ratio. Um, you just try, uh, when you move on to further up like A levels, then you will you will appreciate it more when it comes to function. But as of now, just know that principal values are a set of values being set so that the the trigger functions becomes a function, okay? Yeah, that's how that's how we. Do this part here. Um, don't don't be too stressed out about it. We just see how we can actually use our calculator to find the principal values. So I'll see you in the next question.